Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 11.24 in the evening on Saturday night, uh, May 8th, 2021. Saturday, May 8th, 2021, 11.24 in the evening. And we're going to do kind of a review and, and we're looking for that uh, next storm earthquake on, oh, I think it's the 10th or 11th of, of May. Um, let's look at what happened in the last 24 hours. Um, we had a 4.4 earthquake up here in uh, western Nevada, which let's go to our current forecast was this one here, the 7th to the 8th. And the quake hit right up in this area here, right in here, in the high risk area. And then uh, later on, we had a 3.5 down here near Los Angeles. And if you listen to the uh, video last night, we were saying that uh, if you lived in the Los Angeles area, there's some residual energy down there and expect something uh, during the next 24 hours. And that's that 3.5 there. Now the risk is uh, kind of uh, low or moderate in the San Francisco area, high in Northeast Nevada, on the 8th and the 9th. And then on the 10th and the 11th, as we were talking about the last forecast, the risk is that we need to build across um, California and expecting a strong earthquake uh, 11th, 10th, 11th, or 12th. And uh, now we have a better, a little bit better idea. It looks like the Northwest California will get a significant earthquake, uh, maybe 5.5, 5.8 on the 10th and the 11th or the 11th. You can see that here, Eureka is uh, peaking on the 11th. So the 10th or the 11th in Eureka and Northwest California, San Francisco is uh, highest risk is uh, the 10th and the 11th as well. And then uh, in Southern California, Santa Clarita and Los Angeles and El Centro as well is uh, high in the South on the 12th. So we'll keep a, a close eye on that for you. and. Uh, and see what happens on the 11th, the 12th, and the next uh, tomorrow we'll be able to give you a better idea. But it looks like the 10th and the 11th, a stronger earthquake in Northwest California. And the world forecast, um, significant risk in uh, Costa Rica area on the 9th. This is uh, coming up tomorrow. Uh, Cyprus, 94%. And El Salvador is pretty significant risk there, and in Guatemala. Guatemala is Guatemala is peaking as well, and Hilo. And uh, this these uh, this data here is uh, going to all these hundreds you see here will be changing. This is a new forecast model, so the uh, these hundred percent risk will occur less often in the future. Because it's a new forecast model, the data is uh, is only spread out over like seven or eight days here. But this uh, this will get better as we go along with this new forecast model. Uh, we have like three or four different forecast models, and this is one of them. And uh, this is for Chile on the tenth. It increases the risk there in Peru and Indonesia and Wellington. So uh, you can check this out at quickprediction.com and find your city in there and your risk level, and that will improve. Also, we're uh, updating the, the maps across uh, the world. Here's uh, Athens, Greece. The risk uh, peaks in the north on the 8th and the 9th. Uh, they're in northern Greece. And you can see all these other forecast maps over quickprediction.com. We have uh, the J Japan forecast here. Uh, is out here in uh, near Iwate. Actually, it's down here in uh, Ibaraki, is what I meant to say, Ibaraki, Tokyo, uh, the 8th and the 9th. And then the risk uh, moves up over into the Iwate prefecture on the 10th and the 11th. And once again, all these maps over at quakeprediction.com. Quake I just want to give you a quick update on the uh, what's happening in uh, California. And it looks like the risk will increase on the 10th in San Francisco Bay, 
and also in San Francisco Bay on the 11th. It looks like a stronger earthquake will be happening on the 10th to the 11th in Northwest California, as you see on this map here, Northwest California on the 10th and the 11th up here. And then we're gonna keep an eye out for what happens on the 12th and the 13th. So we'll know more about that tomorrow. So stay tuned, we'll keep you updated. Here at quickprediction.com and remember to look at all those other forecast maps uh, around the world uh, over there at quickprediction.com and we'll talk to you again tomorrow.